let's continue this clashes. Go to clash detective, and we have this clash ducts and structural columns. And let's run this test. Now I have a couple of clashes. And what we can do next? We can assign somebody as responsible for this clash. Okay, let's do it. And now we only can type the name. We cannot uh, use the name from Windows settings or from your local network. And then add comment. This is a local comment. Move it. And now just edit the comment to this um, clash. The clash is like a viewpoint, like an, any object which we can make in Navisworks, like viewpoint, like timeliner, and so we can add comment to this. Can more add one more and more duct. And now let's click it. When we activate a view and view comments, this panel, when you go to one clash, no comments, when you go to another clash, we have comments. And we have statuses and we have um, information about it was assigned to John and then moved back. And we if we unassign, we will have the new one comment. And we have a history about it. A history about this clash and I can use it next. And you should know that even if we go to the save the point any time and then go to find comments, then press find, we can then press this one and we will go to this precise clash with these comments. So it's pretty productive to go from the Comments to clashes and back. Okay, and what we can do with the report? Let's close it. We can do it to the report, and here we can choose and edit what contest we want to to get to, to the report, what what we want to read and what we want to observe in the report, and then we can choose the report type for one test, for current test, for all tests combined. In one row, or for all tests separate, separate files, and we can choose what clashes from what statuses we want to use on the new one, on the active, or other, or, or all of them. And one interesting thing that we can not only export like HTML, but we can export it as a viewpoints and preserve results highlighting, and then we can write report. Write report, and now we've got the special folder in save viewpoints with these viewpoints. And here we can go and see it. Here we can see and go. And then, if you want, we can export this file, export this, export viewpoints, and then open it in a even in a free version of Navisworks, like a freedom version. Or we can save it like a NWF file and then open it and we will have access to these viewpoints and these comments in this um, in the free version of Navisworks. Okay. And now, um, what we can do next? We have to know that uh, let's go back to results. That this history with this um, responsibility with this comments is not forever, because when we press this button, reset. All this history will be deleted. Let's reset it and no history and we run and no comments and let's go to find comments and find it. And we only now have a comments not for the clashes but only for the viewpoints because when I exported viewpoints I've got the comments with them. And so here we have the viewpoints and comments were exported to, to the viewpoints. 